So, I've given up on Rhino Cam for now, moving over to Desproto. Desproto has the advantage that in between your index cuts, you can manually tell it where you want it to move to. And in my case, my wire would slam into my table if it came straight down. So I move my Y over by 50 first of all, and I move my Z to a safe distance so that when everything's rolling, um, it's not in the way. Um, and then manually instruct the needs that I need in A and B. All right, so I've run a test over here, uh, which is just basically four sides, front, back, left, right, and then a top. So let's go have a look. I have the machine sort of dialed in, um, but not enough that I'm confident to start cutting yet. So homing and probing is working. I'm going to just load the G-code for, for that thing that we just made. Okay. Mm, let's have a look. Wish me luck. Cycle start. My other hand is over here. Stop. So that's moving Y so that it's safe for when the plunge comes down to cut inside here. So B is now at zero. Now we're going to cut the first part. Pause that until it gets near to the end of the part. Until we're near the end of the part. So what's going to happen is when it cuts the end of this index, those little instructions I showed you, it's going to just make everything pull up. So that's going to go up to my save Z, which I've coded about 10 millimeter below my switch. And then B will roll 90 degrees and will come down and cut, cut the other side. So your B is now at 90 and it's just going to come in and cut the other side. Same thing, I'll just pause it. Okay, so finish that. And it's just going to go up and we're going to roll from 90 to... Eighty, come down, cut, and then the last one's going to be 270. I'll just pause that again. Okay, coming up on the end of that, so it'll roll it from 180 to 270 now, and then cut the last of the four sides. Um, and then when it's finished that part, it's going to roll it back up and cut the top of the piece. Pause that. Okay, just about done. Okay, I'm okay. And then we're going to roll A back to zero and cut the top of the pot. Of course, I'm cutting air, so just orienting B back to zero. to be. Lex, if you're watching this, how can we instruct these to move at rapid instead of at program feed rate? Because program feed rate is slow. And that's cutting the top of the pot. And that basically is that. Done! Okay, so pretty much a question of dialing in now and starting to cut test parts.